Today, I would love to read uh, this essay, uh, newly released, that Mark Twain Foundation just released a previously unpublished essay by the great writer. I love Mark Twain. This was written around 1889 uh, or 1890. This is an excerpt from the interview. All right, no one likes to be interviewed, okay? And yet no one likes to say no, uh, for interviewers are courteous and gentle-mannered, even when they come to destroy. Now, I must not be understood to mean that they ever come consciously to destroy, or are aware afterward that they have destroyed. No, 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 no. I think their attitude is more that of a cyclone, which comes with the gracious purpose of cooling off a sweltering village, and is not aware afterward that it has done that village anything but a favor. The interviewer scatters you all over creation, but he does not conceive that you can look upon that as a disadvantage. People who blame a cyclone, they do it because they do not reflect that compact masses are not a cyclone's idea of symmetry. People who find fault with the interviewer do it because they do not reflect that he is but a cyclone, after all, though disguised in the image of God like the rest of us, that he is not conscious of harm even when he is dusting a continent with your remains but only thinks he is making things pleasant for you, and that therefore the just way to judge him is by his intentions and not his works. The interview was not a happy invention. It is perhaps the poorest of all ways of getting at what is in a man.